You may have seen recently the Facebook pictures coming up with people growing horns on the back of their skulls. I thought I'd go into a bit more detail as to what on earth is going on here, why are people growing horns on their skulls? Now many people spend hours scrolling through their smartphones every day but a new study shows it may be changing your bodies. A study of 1,200 people conducted by researchers at the University of the Sunshine Coast found 41% of participants aged between 18 and 30 had developed a bony lump on the back of their skull. What's going on though is that people are looking down a lot more, they're using their smartphones, so you can imagine their heads sort of more in this position here. And we've got a part of bone on the back of our skull and I'll load up a couple of pictures here called the external occipital protuberance or EOP for short. And we've got some large ligaments that run up the back of our neck that are designed to help us maintain a good posture and stop our head from going too far forward. But because people are constantly putting increased strain, more strain than that area was designed for, the body's intelligence is essentially putting more bone in that position to keep up with that strain. And this is something we see commonly with other issues where we're putting too much load on tendons. You'll probably hear of heel spurs and things like that too. So one of the biggest things to avoid getting this is to maintain that good posture. We're seeing it in younger and younger people that they're looking down at their phones more, they're in front of computers more. Everything we do is looking down and it's putting huge amounts of extra tension on here, not to mention the muscles that run into our shoulders and neck which cause all sorts of pain and problems. So when you're on your phone, I'd suggest instead of looking down at it, just bring it up to eye height. If you're at the computer, make sure the screen's up at the right height. Make sure you're not looking down and, and stretching your neck so far. And one of the worst things I see when I look out into the reception area is I see almost every single person that's waiting for their appointment looking down at their phone, pretty much their chins on their chest. And you can imagine all that extra strain that's having to go through their neck. So don't be someone that grows a extra horn on the back of their skull. It's not good for you. We weren't designed to keep up with that stress. Maintain that good posture and your body will thank you for it.